Hey, welcome back to Cobb's Q on this balmy 91 degree day in Northern Virginia. It's just lovely, isn't it? It's very hot. So I told my daughter, hey, look, I want to make something for you. And what did she say? Jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. We're going to change it up just a little bit. We're going to add brisket to it and make some Texas Twinkies. However, we decided we wanted to find out what flavoring profile tasted best. So we picked up a whole lot of meat church uh, rubs and one of my favorites out of Bearded Butchers called Cajun. And we're going to make a popper based on each one of the uh, seasonings. So we'll go ahead, we'll combine the cream cheese, we'll combine uh, Colby Jack with brisket, and then we'll sprinkle a little of each seasoning on the inside. We'll wrap it in bacon and then we'll sprinkle that seasoning on that popper. And then we'll lay them out that way on the Traeger. And we're going to go ahead and see what tastes best. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and trim out the house. Jalapenos. And what I'm going to do is a T cut. And so I want to take this and I want to cut down about halfway with my knife. And then I want to trim all the way down to the base. And what's going to happen, we're going to be able to pull these open. We'll get out the insides and then we're going to let them sit on the Traeger and soften up. And that's going to help us later when we go to put the cream cheese in so we don't split these. One thing to remember as you're doing this, the seeds don't uh, generate the heat. It's the membrane that generates the heat. So take out as much as you want. And basically we're gonna make a boat like this and we're gonna set this aside. And we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done. And when we're done, we'll come back. Okay, we've opened up enough of these. We're gonna go ahead and get them on the Traeger. What we're gonna do is run at 250 degrees for 30 minutes. That's just gonna make these soft. So that it's really easy to uh, go ahead and put our cream cheese mixture on the inside without splitting them wide open. And then we can wrap them in bacon. So let's go ahead and get these on. Again, uh, 250 degrees for 30 minutes. We'll be back in 30 minutes and we'll get everything else together. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and get the jalapeno poppers off the Traeger. They're softened and then we're gonna get things together. Yeah, they're looking great. Looking very pliable, which this is gonna make all the difference in the world when we go to stuff these. Okay, to make our stuffing, I'm gonna add two packages of cream cheese. Put a cup of Colby cheese in there to start with. We'll take a look at it and see if that's what we want or if we want more. And then I had a few slices of brisket left over from uh, Father's Day. We'll add this in as well. We're gonna go ahead and just get all this together. We've let the cream cheese soften somewhat outside, add more cheese to it after we get this thing mixed together really well. So this looks good. We use two cups of cheese to two packages of cream cheese and then the brisket that we had remaining. Now what I'm gonna do is set this on a separate plate, enough to fill one jalapeno, and then we're gonna add a little seasoning to each one of these so we can keep them separate. Grab the pepper that we want. We're gonna start off with Holy Voodoo. Holy Voodoo should be really good since this is a jalapeno based type flavoring. Just get enough on there. We're not gonna get it really too much because it is a little bit on the salty side. There again with this, I think it's gonna be just fine. So we're gonna wrap this in a piece of bacon. I think that'll work. And there's our first one. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of Holy Voodoo on here. Holy Voodoo will go here so it matches the template we've got so when we taste test these. Okay, next, honey bacon barbecue. Okay, honey hog hot barbecue. Okay, then we got honey hog. So we got these nuts. Okay, now we got Texas sugar. And finally, we're using Bearded Butcher's Cajun Blend on one of these. We just thought this might be a very interesting flavor and see how that works out. Okay, we got our Cajun. And the last one, we're just gonna leave this as is. We're not gonna put any rub on it. That'll just be our control to see what does it taste like with nothing on it. With this, we're gonna go ahead and put this back on the Traeger. We're gonna go for 90 minutes at 250 degrees. See you in 90 minutes. Okay, we hit 90 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and finish off the bacon just a little bit with a sous vide gun. And that looks good. They look amazing. They do. They look really good. Those big jalapenos in order. We have Holy Voodoo. Then we have the Honey Bacon Barbecue. Then we have the Honey Hog Hot Barbecue. Then we have the Honey Hog Barbecue. And then over here, we got the D's Nuts. We have our Texas Sugar. We have the Bearded Brothers Cajun. And finally, this one, nothing was done. 
All right, so again, I'm joined today with my daughter, which is awesome. We're doing her favorite thing in the world, poppers. But these have got brisket in, so we call them what? Texas Twinkies. Texas Twinkies. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little slice off of each one, just give it a taste test, see what we think, and then we'll go from there. Wearing the glove because I tried to make blood sausage last night. That didn't work out, but uh, thankfully the... I mean... Huh? I mean... <laughs> It did kind of work. Okay, so this has got nothing. This is a straight jalapeno popper. And what I've done, if you'd like, is I have a fork. I will tell you it's hot. Okay. So let's just try a straight jalapeno popper. Mmm. Oh, that... Woo! That's a hot jalapeno. Mm-hmm. That's a hot jalapeno. Wow. Gotta love Best Way. They got the best jalapenos. Yeah, okay. hit. <laughs> okay, so this one is Holy Voodoo. I expect Holy Voodoo to have a jalapeno flavor mm -hmm. because it is kind of jalapeno based. All right, you choose your piece. Oh, you go with the smaller one. Yeah. We're looking for flavor, etc. Mmm. I love this good. Oh, wow. Flavor is great. Flavor's fantastic, isn't it? The flavor is really good. Flavor is outstanding on that. Okay. Holy voodoo. That's a win. Okay, honey bacon barbecue. Yeah, that, that was a real good way to do that. Uh, well, <laughs> careful, all... stripping, stripping. Oh, uh, well. Well, it's all on the fork. Gotta be smarter than fifth grader. <laughs> see. It's good. Mm -hmm. Not as good as Holy Voodoo. Right now, Holy Voodoo still wins in my book, but it's very good. Got a little sweet flavor to it. Honey Hog Hot. So it should basically be the same thing, but then spice is added. Pick your one okay. and watch the way that you stab it. <laughs> Maybe I'll scoop it this time. That's a good idea. It's got a little spice. I, I don't taste much of a difference. Not really, no. No. I mean, it's not bad. Still, Holy Voodoo so far takes the cake. Mm -hmm. Okay, Honey Hog Barbecue. Now, this is the one that I do all of the uh, pork belly burn ends with. And it does an amazing job on, on uh, burn ends. Go okay. ahead. Mmm. Oh. What do you think? I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm liking it too. I'm putting it next to uh, Holy Voodoo. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. This one was just because I wanted to try it. I've had this these nuts in the cupboard for a while and I haven't done anything with it. So without, why not? It's pecan based flavor, supposedly. And every respectable Texan should like pecans. So. Okay. Go for the end. Going for the end piece. Mm -hmm. I can taste a little brisket in there, which is always nice. Oh. Mmm. That's very hot. Uh -huh. It's not a bad flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad flavor. I think it's number three on my list. Yeah. So far. I think it's number two for me. Number two? You like it better than you did the honey hog? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Texas sugar. I believe this is one of the ones that Matt uses when he makes Texas Twinkies. Okay. Yeah, I blow on it first. It's good, but I still, I like these nuts better. So the only one not in Meat Church today that we're going to try is the Bearded Butcher's Cajun Blend. And there's something about the Cajun flavor sounded good with a uh, jalapeno. So you may pick yours. Okay. Go for the end piece again. I like it. Mmm. I do too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm putting that next to Holy Voodoo. Uh-huh. I think, yeah, I think so too. Okay, so Holy Voodoo and the Beard of Butchers. And then if I was to choose there, it would probably be these nuts with a Holy Hog or a Honey Hog. Mm-hmm. It's a close third or fourth or whatever with the honey bacon and then Texas sugar would be my least, honestly. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really good. I know which one we're going to do another one of, though. It was so good. Holy. Yeah, Holy Voodoo was fantastic. I want to try one more of the D's nuts. Okay. Yeah. I still like D's nuts. Mm hmm Well, hey, no question today. We enjoy the jalapeno poppers. Um, Holy Voodoo, hands down. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Yeah, that, was that, that was the best. Uh, I'm going to give Bitter, Bearded Butcher's Cajun the second. I, I like that between D's nuts and that, but I, I think that was the second for me. And then definitely the D's nuts. I finally found a reason to use that rub. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. But I would absolutely recommend doing this with Holy Voodoo. Give the Bitter Butcher's Cajun blend a spot on your shelf. It does a fantastic job. And definitely try these nuts. If, if you see it on the shelf, grab it and try this. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think they were great. Fantastic. Well, hey, look, thanks again for joining us today. If you won't mind, take a moment and like. And subscribe. And have a blessed day. Man, this was awesome. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I really like this. All right.